That means in this situation, the copyright holder cannot do anything about C. I'm gonna explain that. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Are terms and conditions legally necessary? No, you do not need that. The thing is, is it smart to not use them? No, it's not smart. Is it smart? No. Why? If you use terms of condition, you can protect yourself, but you can also scare people away. When you protect yourself or when you make certain kind of rules, it makes it difficult for people to come after you. So you're protecting yourself. Is it legal necessary? No. But do you need it? Yes. So if you're offering product or services, depends where you are, use them. Doesn't matter if you're some small company, big company, doesn't matter, use it. You have the option, so why not use it? When you use it, you can protect yourself. How should a user or customer accept the terms of condition? This is something really interesting. So if you look at the drawing board, how should a user or customer accept the terms of condition? When they place an order on your website, when they check out, they can accept it. Or when they off, they're asking for your services and you confirm it, but you need to make sure that they confirm that they accept your terms of condition. Let me get, I'm gonna give you another example. So first let's have the website. So imagine you have a website. Someone wants to order something on your website. So they go to the checkout page. So this is checkout page, they need to fill the information. Here you see the product, here you see the price, and here they can pay, right? Here, you can put a sentence, by placing this order or by ordering this, you agree to up, um, accept our terms of condition, something in that uh, variant. As soon as they place an order, this is the offer, they accept the offer, but they also accept the terms of condition. So this is one way of accepting terms of condition. So on the website, this is the situation where you have that. Yeah. Another, other situation. So imagine you're on the email. Someone saying, hey, I want to use your services. Describe the services or product. And in all, you can do all of this in the email. And then tell them, can you confirm that this is your order? And also, can you confirm that you accept our terms of condition? As soon as they send you an email back, so you send this email to your client, send your email back with confirmation, then you have confirmation. So technically, this included terms is a contract between you and your client. Or oh, also this, by the way. This is your proof that you have a contract. It's that simple. Another way is, Sometimes when you have this, you can send them an invoice. As soon as they pay the invoice, the invoice can be like a document that you can put in here as a proof that we have a contract and you already pay for it. Hope you understand. And what you need to make sure is that they confirm that they accept your service of products and they accept also the terms. And you can send the terms as an uh, attachment to them so they can read it. Or you can um, put a website where they can read the terms. So do not send an email where you only say you accept of terms and they do not know where the terms are. Yeah, I see that a lot, but don't do that. Yeah. So how should the user or customer accept the terms of condition? If you're on a website, you have a checkout page, put a sentence that if you want to check out or you want to place order, you accept the terms of condition. If you're doing this by email, you can use this. If you have a physical shop, you can have your terms of condition in the shop. And let's say on uh, paper where people can read it. And then be like, uh, hey, you can, uh, if you buy something, you need to accept the terms of condition. Or if they pay by credit card, there are some credit card company that lets you, um, let's say put the name and email. As soon as they pay with the credit card, you will send them your terms of condition, also the receive. So they can always look back where to receive. So you, when you send to receive, there should be an option where you can send them the, the terms of condition, or you can put on the receive your website, 
where they can find the terms of condition but just to make sure there are some countries some rules that as soon as they buy something you need to have access to the terms of condition or you need to send it to them do not just tell them hey the terms of condition is on the website doesn't work like that so for every company is different and when you look at it you need to think about okay what works best for me and what's ideal in my workflow so the next question is can i copy them from someone else so technically the question is can i copy terms of condition of someone else so of competitive or whatever yes you can but should you do it no why shouldn't you do it if i'm going to explain to you why in a second as soon as you understand it you will know if you need terms of condition you need to take the proper action in order to get it so let's look at it so the question is can i copy them from someone from someone else's website no yes you can but no do not do that the thing is it's simple yeah when you create something technically you have copyright on it you see what i'm going this is a copyright most of the time local law country law will give you copyright the thing is when you look at copyright you always have three parties of three things you have the right itself you have be the copyright holder and you have see someone that wants to use it so here we talk about c is the copyright copyright you have to see it like a cake or cookie whatever or profit whatever so this is your cake this is the right when you have this right you have the right to um, make a copy reproduction or make it publish publishment yeah but in the law there are some exception so there are some exception and people call it limitation limitation does mean if you meet the requirement of limitation there is no copyright that means in this situation the copyright holder cannot do anything about c i'm going to explain that so like we say a is the right itself so this is the right we're talking about this hopefully you can see it yeah b is the copyright holder so he can decide what will happen or not so when you create something most time you have copyright on it if you create terms of condition you have copyright on it right if you want to use the, the terms of condition for someone else you uh, copy it and you're making it publish so you're using their rights you need to look are the limitation no there's no fair use most of the time when you look at local law there are no limitation for those kind of things so there are no limitation in the law that means you cannot use it without the permission from b if you have permission from another company to use the terms of condition you are good to go but if not you have a problem yes you can copy it but you don't have the right to do that and if they take action you have a problem that's what people try to explain online but most of the time the explanation it's it's correct but most of the time people don't understand how the process work so what does it mean if b doesn't take action doesn't mean 10 years later he cannot take action he still can take action so if you copy something and he doesn't take action today but after three years he's going to take action you have a problem you understand what i mean so if you don't have to worry about it today tomorrow they can still come after you and trust me it's easy to find out who copy something then who's the copyright holder and most of the time what people do not see is and you see that in a couple of companies when they create the terms of condition they register at the courthouse in some countries they do that they register at the co courthouse why are they doing that is because um when consumer wants to look at the co um, the terms of condition they can they can find it on the in the database there but another part of this is when they register they have a date and this date is really important why is it important because if you copy it you will never be before this date you will never be and it means they are always the first one because they can prove it during the registration so when you create a terms of condition most of the time you can register in your court and there's a whole process for that but it's not that difficult you pay a fee you register you have something 
and the date is important because that's the date that you first created and if someone comes after that you can always prove on that date you were the first one so if she use it after let's say um let's say i create something today and she use it tomorrow use it uh, to want to claim that um he has copyright on it i will be like no no i already said to the court and that's a valid proof and the problem with that is i can still sue that person and that's something you need to understand so if you look at terms of condition it's really interesting but do not copy it try to create your own try to hire someone to do it for you and then it can save you a lot of money so i have a dream that's all i need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen would be great